Believe it or not, there are species on this planet that humans have never laid eyes upon. Yes, it would be easy to think that we'd conquered the natural world already, but that couldn't be further from the truth. We've only just scratched the surface when it comes to the animal kingdom. From immortal sea creatures as tall as a building, to creatures that have flown straight out of Middle Earth. These are the 20 terrifying newly discovered species that shocked the world. Pyrosome Are you ready for your first terrifying new species? This 26-foot-long glowing worm swims through tropical waters across the world and is not one creature but in fact many colonies consistent with thousands of individual zoids. These bizarre creatures have been nicknamed unicorns of the sea due to the fact that they're just so magical. These pyrosomes are made of individual clones, each of which filters water non-stop in order to get food and flush out waste. Talk about taking one for the team. These crazy colonies can grow up to 60 feet long and are pretty hard to miss. Oh, and did we mention that they glow in the dark? Yep, pyrosomes are bioluminescent and can create their own light source. In fact, the name pyrosome comes from the Greek words of fire and body. Just in case you thought that this curious critter couldn't get any cooler, the pyrosome reproduces by cloning, which means that the colony can regenerate when injured or even broken apart. Yep, this strange sea worm can theoretically live forever. Mother Nature is full of surprises. And now it's time for our open discussion. This giant desert creature has been causing quite a stir in the cryptid community. Yes, this humongous fanged worm is unlike anything we've ever seen before. Could it be that this monster really lurks beneath the sand in the world's unexplored desert landscapes? It gives us shivers just thinking about it. But what do you guys think? Use the hashtag open discussion in the comment section below to share your thoughts. Hey you, feeling lucky? Want a shout out in tomorrow's video? All you gotta do is smash that subscribe button and comment down below your fave moment from today's juicy topics. Tomorrow, you just might be the talk of the town. All right, enough chit chat, back to the show. Twig Spider. We're about to unveil the master of disguise in the spider world. The Arimnes flagellum, better known as the Twig Spider. You might have heard of stick insects, but this camouflaging spider takes blending in to a whole new level. This long, slender arachnid is vibrant green, effortlessly blending into the woodlands of Australia, Southeast Asia, and India. Now, here's where things get truly fascinating. The twig spider is a cunning hunter. It weaves a web in the shape of a cleverly designed Y, mimicking the appearance of a twig or branch. This ingenious deception lures unsuspecting prey right into its trap, but that's not all. When it's time to strike a pose, this rare spider stretches out its limbs in a posture known as crypsis. This twig spider pulls off its twig transformation with such finesse that it's nearly impossible to distinguish it from an actual twig. Measuring between 13 to 22 millimeters, this little master of camouflage is a true marvel of evolution, perfectly suited to its woodland environment. If you've never heard of a twig spider, well, you have now. Antarctic Strawberry Feather Star Meet the Antarctic Strawberry Feather Star, a true aquatic wonder from the depths of the Antarctic Ocean. With 10 rays, 20 arms, and a body that looks like a strawberry, it's a real sight to behold. This creepy cool species was stumbled upon by scientists during their expeditions from 2008 to 2017. They were originally on the hunt for the Antarctic Feather Stars, known for their otherworldly appearance. But what they found was something entirely new and utterly fascinating. They named their discovery the Antarctic Strawberry Feather Star, paying homage to its strawberry-like body. Turns out, its Latin name is the same word for strawberry. You really do learn something new every day. But here's where it gets even more intriguing. This underwater wonder lurks in the depths, hanging out between 65 and 1,170 meters below the surface. It's a world of darkness and mystery, where this strange new species has carved out its little niche. Now, as for whether it's beautiful or just downright disturbing, well, that's a matter of perspective. Beauty, after all, is in the eye of the beholder, especially in the depths of the Antarctic Ocean. Wolverine Frog Just like the X-Men character Wolverine, this frog can break in its own bones and pierce through the skin in order to protect a set of dangerously sharp claws. 
Ouch, that's gotta hurt. The so-called hairy frog, also known as the horror frog, displays this bizarre behavior as a defense mechanism and will burst out its claws whenever it is threatened by a predator. If the frog is attacked, it can break the nodule connections in its body, forcing the sharpened bones through the skin. That's why hunters in Cameroon will use long spears to catch the frogs instead of grabbing them with their hands. Nobody wants to get jabbed by this freaky frog. Weirdly, this amphibious creature is also hairy, and the male of the species will grow long strands of arteries when they breed in order to take in more oxygen through their skin while they protect their young. Yep, this creature just keeps getting weirder and weirder. A fuzzy frog with retractable claws? Now, we really have seen it all. Hairy Frogfish We're about to dive into the peculiar world of the hairy frogfish, a creature that's bound to make your jaw drop. Despite its name, this bizarre being isn't a figment of mythology. It's a real fish, and it's got a few tricks up its spiky sleeves, covered in spines that resemble strands of hair. The hairy frogfish is a master of disguise. These spines help it blend seamlessly into coral and seaweed, making it nearly invisible to the untrained eye. And if that's not impressive enough, this crafty critter can also change its color to match its surroundings. It's a true shape-shifting sea creature. But here's where it gets truly extraordinary. Most fish swim, right? Not the hairy frogfish, nope. It's got its own swagger. Using its wide fins, it struts along the seafloor on the lookout for its next meal. You have to see it to believe it. And that's not all. This fish has a secret weapon, an extra long spine of its dorsal fin that looks just like a wriggling worm. By deftly waving this bait in front of its mouth, the hairy frogfish entices unsuspecting prey luring them within striking distance. It's like a fishy magician putting on a show. And when it's time for a meal, these crazy frogfish don't hold back. They can gobble up prey as large as themselves, swallowing them whole. Now that's one way to tackle a hairy situation. Yellow-lipped sea crate. One of these menacing sea creatures has enough venom to kill 10 human adults. That super deadly snake is found in the tropical waters of the Pacific and Indian Oceans, and its neurotoxic venom is 10 times more powerful than a rattlesnake's. Yep, if you thought you were safe from snakes in the water, then think again. The banded sea crate is one of the most deadly creatures in the ocean, and one bite is enough to shut down your nervous system, paralyze you, and even stop your heart from beating. The sea crate can open its mouth wide enough to swallow a whole eel, and we've got a feeling it would devour a diver's arm too if they get too close. It's recognizable by its flat paddle-like tail that allows it to glide through the water, and the contrasting bands of silver and black that run all the way down its body. It also has yellow lips. That's right, you can't miss the banded sea crate. And if you do see one, you know what you have to do. Swim for your life. Eastern Mindanao Gymnur. It's time for a wild zoological revelation. Meet P. Intermedia, the creature that's got the looks of a shrew, but the credentials of a Gymnur. These critters, also known as hairy hedgehogs or moon rats, are practically cousins with the hedgehog. These guys live exclusively in the Philippines. A bunch of sharp-eyed researchers stumbled upon them during a survey in the untamed mountains of Eastern Mindanao. Now, about the name Intermedia, it's all about that in-between status. These fuzzballs are sized just right smack in the middle of their podogymnera crew. And let's talk fashion. These hairy hedgehogs rock golden streaks in their fur, setting them apart from their dark furred pals. All of them are downright adorable though, but our golden buddies might face a bit of a housing crisis. Mining and farming could muscle in on their turf, not to mention new roads paving the way. Conservationists are putting up a fight, but time will tell when it comes to this new species. Rio Negro's Stream Tree Frog Alright fantasy fans and nature enthusiasts, get ready for this enchanting news. In the mystical waters of the Ecuadorian Andes, a dazzling new character has emerged. Say hello to the Rio Negro Stream Tree Frog. And guess what? This little wonder has been dubbed after none other than the literary maestro himself, J.R.R. Tolkien, the mind behind The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings. Diego F. Cineros Heredia, the wizard, a uh, director of the Museum of Zoology at San Francisco, 
de Quito University, couldn't contain his excitement, he declared. The new species of frog has amazing colors, and it would seem that it inhabits a universe of fantasies, like those created by a Tolkien talk about a tribute fit for Middle Earth. Yep, this ain't your average tree frog, folks. It's a tiny 65 millimeters of pure vibrant amphibian charisma. It's so small it could perch atop your soda can, snug as a bug. New species of orchid. Brace yourselves for a blooming revelation. In the heart of Japan's parks nestled amongst the greenery, a brand spanking new orchid has been uncovered. This beauty with its delicate glass-like petals has been playing a game of hide and seek right under our noses. Despite gracing Japan's parks and gardens, it took the sharp-eyed scientists at Kobe University a whole decade to give this pink and white wonder a proper introduction. This botanical star has been flying under the radar. The elusive orchid isn't a recluse. Nope, you can find it in your everyday lawns, parks, private gardens, and even chilling on balconies. Talk about hiding in plain sight. This discovery's got scientists buzzing, hinting that there might be a whole new world of species just waiting for the moment in the sun, right in our own backyards. Who knew? No need for jungle expeditions. This beauty is no rookie. It even had a cameo in Japan's oldest poetry anthology, the 8th century Manyoshu. Clearly this orchid's been turning heads for centuries. So the next time you're out for a stroll in the park, keep an eye out. You might just stumble upon a botanical superstar. Lavender Blushed Dartfish A fantastic underwater discovery has been surfaced thanks to the sharp-eyed scientists from the Australian Museum Research Institute the University of Sydney, and the Museum and Art Gallery of the Northern Territory. They've unveiled a brand new addition to the Nema Teleotris family, straight from the pristine waters of the Western and Central Pacific Ocean. Introducing the Lavender Brush Dartfish, also known as Nema Teleotris lavendula. This little dazzler measuring in at a dainty 5 centimeters boasts a body that's a lovely shade of lavender. Its body fades gently into a delicate color of lilac. Now that's what we call underwater chic. This lavender wonder was initially mistaken for its cousin, the Helfrich's dartfish. But fear not, our lavender friend is now strutting its stuff in the limelight. Thanks to these eagle-eyed researchers, this groundbreaking revelation has been documented in a paper in the prestigious Raffles Bulletin of Zoology. So here's to the lavender blushed dartfish a new star in the underwater showbiz making waves in the scientific world. Sauron Butterflies Tolkien fans and nature buffs rejoice because we've got yet another tale that'll have you buzzing with excitement. Scientists taking a page out of J.R.R. Tolkien's epic have taken a leaf from the Lord of the Rings series when it comes to this newly discovered group of butterflies. They've dubbed them Saurana. And it's all thanks to the uncanny resemblance of black rings on their fiery orange wings to the all-seeing eye on the one and only Sauron. The Natural History Museum in London is hoping this quirky title will cast a spotlight on these winged wonders, sparking more research and discovery. Dr. Blanca Huertas, the curator of butterflies at the museum, was the mastermind behind this brilliant name. She's part of a global dream team that described this new genus in a paper published in the scientific journal Systemic Entomology. And if you thought Sauron's influence stopped with butterflies, think again. This villain's iconic gaze has also inspired the names of a dung beetle, a frog, and even a dinosaur. The eye of Sauron really is everywhere. Squat Lobster Meet the Squat Lobster, a critter that's got a few tricks up its sleeve, or shell. While they might bear a resemblance to lobsters, these fellows are actually more closely related to the hermit crab crew, but they don't haul around shells on their backs like their cousins. Instead, they've got a nifty tactic. They cozy up in crevices, claws at the ready, giving neighboring lobsters a clear message. This spot's taken. And they're not just sitting around twiddling their claws. Nope, they're masters of disguise hiding under rocks like undercover agents. It's a strategy to keep themselves safe from the watchful eyes of fish looking for a tasty meal. They patiently wait for snacks to settle nearby, and then swoop in with those sharp claws, ready to pick their prize. Now, let's talk about their arms. These guys have some serious reach. 
Their arms can stretch out several times their own body length, and these sneaky squat lobsters aren't above a bit of thievery. They've been caught swiping snacks from sea monsters. It's survival of the fittest out there, and these squat lobsters know how to play the game. DiCaprio's Snail Eating Snake We've got a scaly discovery that's straight out of the movies. Deep in the foothill forests of Panama, there's a serpent with a fiery hue, eyes that gleam like hot coals, and it's about to get a name that'll make Hollywood proud. DiCaprio's Snail Eating Snake this striking snake is just one of five newfound species lurking in the jungles of Central and South America. Lead author Alejandro Ortega, president and research director at the Kamai Foundation, a conservation-focused organization, is calling this a mere glimpse into a treasure trove of undiscovered species in the region. However, rampant illegal mining in the area could be putting a damper on future finds. Now, let's talk about the namesake. Yes, you guessed it, the snake gets its moniker from none other than actor and conservationist Leonardo DiCaprio. This little snail eater measures in at about 15 inches, and come evening you'll find it perched on palm fronds, a solid 10 feet above the forest floor, on the hunt for snails and slugs. Despite its fiery appearance, DiCaprio's snake is a pacifist at heart. It doesn't resort to biting when threatened. Instead, it coils protectively around its head and lets out an unsavory scent. Now, that's a unique defense mechanism. So there you have it, a Hollywood-worthy snake that's not just a showstopper, but also a testament to the hidden wonders of our planet's jungles. Let's hope we can preserve these treasures for generations to come. The Mirror Spider Listen up, arachnid aficionados, because we're about to introduce you to the shining star of the spider world. Say hello to the Mirror Spider, also known as the Shiny Sequence Spider. What a fancy name. And it's putting on a show down under in Australia. This little dazzler measures a mere 3 millimeters, but don't let its size fool you. It's got a glimmer that would put a disco ball to shame. But that silvery sheen you're seeing isn't a result of some fancy spider makeup. Nope, it's a result of spider's digestion process. The mirrors that make it sparkle are actually made of guanine, a byproduct of good old fashioned excretion. It might sound a bit gross, but there's no denying it's absolutely stunning. But this sparkling exterior isn't just for show, in fact, it's a top notch camouflage job. In the tropical forest where it calls home, this mirrored abdomen looks just like a glistening raindrop resting on a leaf. It's the perfect disguise, allowing this sequin wonder to blend seamlessly into its environment. So the next time you find yourself in the Aussie wilderness, keep an eye out for this tiny disco diva. Demon Cat Shark Off the Kimberley coast in northern West Australia, a new species of demon cat shark has emerged from the depths lurking hundreds of meters below the ocean's surface. And let us tell you, this creature is a rare sight to behold. What sets this shark apart from its deep sea companions, you ask? Those glowing white eyes, of course. It's a feature seldom seen in the world of deep water sharks, making this demon cat shark a true standout in the underwater realm. It's not every day you come across a shark with eyes that light up like a beacon. Now, here's the backstory. A volunteer researcher struck gold back in 2011 when they stumbled upon eggs belonging to this enigmatic species. But the confirmation process that followed was no walk in the park. As described by a scientist from CSIRO, the journey to officially recognizing this demon cat shark was filled with its fair share of frustration. But now with the discovery confirmed, we're looking at a potential game changer in the realm of shark evolution. This new species could hold the key to unlocking secrets about the ancient underwater world and how these creatures have evolved over time. Demon sharks? Whatever next. Deep sea lizard fish. Up next, we're delving into the realm of the downright bizarre. Meet the deep sea lizard fish, a creature that's straight out of a nightmare. It lurks in the depths, slightly tilted, propped up by its fins, patiently waiting for unsuspecting fish to swim by. And then, in a blink, it strikes with a mouthful of razor-sharp teeth, including its tongue. That's right, it's got fangs on its tongue, a true sea monster straight from your wildest nightmares. Thankfully, chances are you'll never come face to face with one of these creatures. 
They're apex predators of the deepest abyss, ruling their domain with an insatiable appetite. They'll chomp down on anything that crosses their path, even their own kind. Yep, these freaky fish have cannibalistic tendencies. These nightmare-inducing fish reside at staggering depths, somewhere between 1,969 to 11,483 feet below the surface, in the pitch-black midnight or aphotic zone. It's a world where sunlight never reaches, and these creatures have adapted to thrive in eternal darkness. Creepy stuff. True Millipede Deep beneath the Earth, some 200 feet below the surface in Australia, scientists have unearthed a new species of millipede. But this isn't your average garden variety. No sir. This millipede is a true marvel. It's eyeless, it scurries along on an astonishing 1,306 legs. And it's been bestowed with the regal name, Eumilipes Persephone, in honor of Persephone, the Greek goddess of the underworld. This invertebrate wonder holds a record that puts all others to shame. The largest of its kind, a female measuring less than 4 inches, easily outstripped the previous champion. A millipede from near Silicon Valley, California, that's got a mere 750 legs. We're talking about the world's first true millipede here, since millipede literally means a thousand feet in Latin. Hidden away in the depths, these creatures have evolved to be colorless, a trait shared by many cave-dwelling species. They sport cone-shaped heads, massive antennae, and powerful worm-like locomotion that lets them barrel through sediments and tight spaces. It's like they've adapted to be the ultimate subterranean explorers. Pretty weird, right? Mizoram Parachute Gecko Meet the Mizoram Parachute Gecko, scientifically known as Gecko Mizoramensis. This little critter is part of an exclusive club of 14 gecko species known for their airborne tactics. That's right, they can fly. How, you ask? Well, they've got a clever combo of skin flaps and webbed feet to hop from tree to tree. These nocturnal daredevils are all about the art of concealment. They're masters of crypsis, blending seamlessly into their leafy surroundings, only to reveal their secrets under the cover of darkness. But this isn't just another gecko species, it's a window into the rich biodiversity of Northeast India. As the newest member of the ancient gecko family, it unraveled a whole new chapter in the story of these fascinating creatures. And in case you're itching for more, you're in luck. The study unveiling the Mizoram parachute gecko has just been published in the journal Salamandra. This groundbreaking discovery is bound to ignite an interest for documenting the incredible wildlife of Northeast India. So let's tip our hats to this airborne gecko, a true high flyer in the world of reptiles. The Coffin Fish We're diving into the mysterious world of coffin fish. These eerie looking creatures are built for the dark abyss, and their peculiar adaptations are straight out of a sci-fi novel. Nicknamed coffin fish or sea toads, these denzians of the deep have already impressed scientists with their unique ability to walk on the ocean floor using special fins. A recent study has uncovered yet another mind-boggling adaptation. These coffin fish have massive inflatable gill chambers that allow them to expand their bodies with seawater, essentially taking a deep breath of the ocean. This nifty trick lets them hold their breath for up to four minutes, a feat never before observed in a fish. Why do they do it? Well, it turns out this behavior could be a clever way to conserve energy in an environment where food is scarce. That's survival tactics at their finest. There's not just one, but over 20 species of coffin fish out there, all part of the anglerfish family. They're scattered across the globe, lurking at depths of up to a staggering 8,200 feet. These creatures have truly aced the art of being seafloor dwellers. Blue-Eyed Cicada Brood X cicadas, nature's own little spectacle. Now, here's a nugget of trivia for you. Most of these critters are known for their signature red eyes, but every so often, you'll stumble upon a rare gem with eyes as blue as the sky. These blue-eyed wonders, they're about as rare as a shooting star, a true one in a million find. Now, what's the secret behind these striking eye color variations, you ask? Well, according to the sharp minds at the University of Connecticut, it all boils down to good old genetics. We're talking about mutations or genes that are so incredibly rare. They're like the unicorns of the cicada world. There's even a wild rumor that's been floating around campuses for years, claiming that if you nab a blue-eyed cicada, you're in for a hefty payday. 
We're talking serious cash. Back in 2011, folks were claiming that these bugs were worth a cool $3,000 a pop. But let's set the record straight. It's more of an urban legend than a reality. Yep, catching blue-eyed bugs isn't the get-rich-quick scheme everyone thought it was.